Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's session, we'll discuss Azure resource locks and how we can implement this. So let's get started. Like always, if you're liking these sessions, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this content. Now I have come across certain times in which a customer has accidentally deleted its resources. Now, if you have a very small environment, it might be okay, but if you're dealing with the enterprise grade customer, they might be having hundreds and thousands of resources. And it can be really challenging and cumbersome to redeploy these resources and not to forget the financial and the security implication it might be having. That is where resource locks can help. In Azure, there are two kinds of resource lock. You have a delete and you have a read only resource group lock. A delete resource lock will help you to protect it from deletion and you can still continue to make the modification and changes to the underneath resources. Whereas a read only resource lock will protect it from deletion, but it also makes sure that a user who don't have the right access cannot make any changes or modification to the resources underneath. Now the question arises, what kind of access you need to apply these locks? Now you need to have an owner or user access administrator role to apply or delete these resource locks. These resource locks can be applied at the subscription, resource group and resources level and they follow a top-down approach. For example, if I apply a delete lock at the resource group level, any resources which I have underneath that resource group will be all automatically protected from that deletion and any resources that I might be adding in the future will be also part of that delete resource lock. But there are certain considerations you need to have when you're trying to implement these locks. For example, if I have a read-only lock on a storage account, it can pre prevent users from generating any storage keys. Another example can be if I have a resource group which have an app service plan and I have a read-only lock, it might protect it from or prevent it from scaling up or scaling out. That's why you need to make sure that uh, when you're applying these locks, you need to do due diligence on your side that any services underneath might not be affected. So let me actually show you how you're going to implement this on the Azure portal. All right, I'm logged into the Azure portal and I have owner access to the subscription. So let's try to implement a resource lock. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use a resource group with the name uh, LRG. And underneath that, uh, actually lock RG and underneath that I have a storage account. So I have a storage account under this resource group with the name lock SA. So what I can do is I'm going to go on the settings of this resource group and I have this locks button. And let's go and click on the add. I'm going to name this lock one. And there are two types which I've explained. I have the delete and I have the read only lock type. For this demonstration, let's pick delete and click on the OK button. So the lock was applied successfully. Now let me just go to the storage account, which is part of this resource group and try to delete this. And let's see what happens. You can see because I have applied a lock at the parent level, which is in this case at the resource group level, I cannot delete this storage account, right? The only way I can delete the storage account is that if I delete that lock. So let me just try that out too. So I'm going to go back to the resource group, go inside the lock RG, go under the locks, and here I can make changes. I can go and edit. I can change it from the delete type, the read only type to, or I can permanently delete this lock. So let me just go and delete this. And now with the lock deleted, I should be able to now delete the storage account underneath, right? So now if I go and delete this option, I should be able to ask me for the name. So let me provide that and delete. And you can see now it is deleting the storage account. So this is how you're going to implement resource lock within Azure portal. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.